the maram naga is one of the naga tribes of manipur and is only tribe of the state who has been included in the list of primto tribal groups of india they are mainly found in tabudi subdivision of senapati district which is at a distance of 140 kilometers from imphal the road leading to the maram village is very narrow and uh, the roads are not at all good and we have to face lot of problems in reaching the maram naga villages you can observe here the road which is going to the maram villages or hilly track sometimes we have to walk long distances to reach the settlement for the documentation of ethnic vision on maram naga tribe i have selected the oldest village maram kulam village for the documentation of the film continuation of man in search of man series presently i am in manipur to document the ethnic vision on maram naga tribe to identify and to document the film on maram naga i have taken the help of the students of anthropology from student from uh, manipur university his name is uh, ismail ismail and he has brought me to this village with his friends uh, uh, to the village name marampuram uh, marampuram village this is one of the old village uh, oldest village which you can say that first maram migrated and inhabited in this region so finally we have reached uh, the maram exact village man in search of man that to produce the film that ethnic vision of uh, maram nagas now we are with the uh, uh, maram naga village president john now john john eh nice to meet you welcome sir and vice president vice president of this maram association sebastian 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 is majay dominic 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 yeah dominic. dominic please to meet you in physical appearance the maram naga have the gold or brown color of the mongolian tribe majority of them are short stature but medium height stature people also seen the women are roughly slim and short they have a straight and curly hair but mostly black prominent cheek mongolian eye fold etc or observed the dress is very simple which you can hear women wear uh, one dhoti down and a sweater or a shirt or upper garment men wear pant and a shirt now uh, how, how much the population according to your estimation no, 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 no. maybe more than 10 more more than 10000 so you says around more than 10000 population inhabiting i think it is in uh, approximately how many villages it will be there i mean uh, maram villages the whole maram ah oh, your maram naga villages oh we have more than 37 something like 37 now if if we include all the newly settled settlements villages, such a more than 40 we have more than 40 yeah, so uh, as though they have given in census 35 villages now they have modern new villages are established uh, it will be around 40 villages that is uh, 40 maybe 40, around 40, 40 villages and more than 40 villages population <coughs> According to Mutan Bukal and Chatur Bhuj Sahu and other scholars in their writing, put the Marams to Tibetano-Burma family of Mongoloid race and linguistically called to the sub-family of Sino-Tibetan family. The native generals have a claim that to have originated from Mongolia to Burma, then to Mikhail, thereafter to the present Maram Kullam, the present village. first ancestor of maram kullam is called as king fing grapi who had eight sons and assigned them different responsibilities the houses in the village are scattered which you can observe here on the hillock on hill slopes they have constructed their houses there are three main reasons for the construction of the new houses the first one is a new local residence by the newly married couples then when the present living house is becoming too bad and not to in a position to for repair then the family construction a new house 
A man can construct another house by the practice of the polygyny. Houses are non-pile dwellings made up of timber, thatch, planks, mats, etc. Now they have started using of RCC sheets, bricks and stones for their construction. This is the one of the sacred place which you are seeing here. It is called as Kuti where the king and the queen of the Maram Naga inhabits. In this place they have the dormitories for unmarried boys. It is called as Hang Saki and Kailu for the girls dormitory. In this center the members learn their customs, folklore, folk tales, dance, music, song, discipline etc. from their seniors. Unmarried boys and girls sleep in their respective dormitories. The members of the dormitory after having evening meal assemble to dance and sing. The practice and rehearsal on dancing and singing accelerated day by day when the festival is nearer. Due to the impact of Christianity among them, the role of youth dormitory is gradually weakening. However, traditional dance and music and songs and its traditional dress, customs and ornaments are still maintaining and showing their identity in the important traditional and national occasions. House, which has been constructed in three days time. Three days, I, I, yes. set up. Yes. So this big, the entire village will participate. All the villagers will come the, here. Uh, both male folks. and male and female. All the male folks will come. All the male folks will come and they will start constructing. Within the three days they will construct this home. Yeah. Including this uh, painting and everything. Uh, painting, painting no, we can do in other times. Okay. But to set up roof uh -huh. or to set up everything. Huh? Uh -huh. Walls. Everything uh -huh. works completed within three days. Within three days. Yeah. So for that any special occasion we will be calling, uh, what do you call for that? Um, within three days, uh, suppose if a person is constructing such type of house, uh -huh. he will kill one cow. Okay. And that has to be eaten only by male mm -hmm. fox. Okay. No females, no females will yeah. be given that meat. Yeah. And also that particular meat, we are, we are not supposed to carry and go anywhere. Anywhere. They are, they are to eat here only. Yeah. If we complete here, complete and complete. Okay. If, if we didn't complete, we have to keep it sacred and then we'll sacrifice it to uh, the okay. well, uh, Whatever is left for, mm -hmm. will not take in, in another day second. Okay. We have to complete it within... That day? Yeah. That day. Yeah. So for three days, three cows you will kill? No. One? Out of three, the last day will kill cow. Oh, cow. Okay. Now I request to explain this uh, about uh, the culture which you has depicted in these walls. Actually, this wall, what they have depicted. Okay, so, uh, yeah. Marams were forefathers. Forefathers of the Marams, uh. they are great warriors. Oh, great warriors. Great warriors. That's they right. were head hunters. Uh -huh. Once they bring any head of the enemies, uh. they will bring to the king's house. So, he, yeah, it says that once the Marams are head hunters, so they are great warriors. So whenever they go for hunting, if they bring the head of a human being, then they will keep it here. It represents symbolic representation of the head hunting, which they are following. You can this, see here. This is the. Uh, this, this man will bring the head. This man has brought this head. Yes. This is your morom. Yes. This is the head he has brought up. Head and with whom we are doing head hunting. Actually, olden days head hunting was done with actually uh, from the tribes among the tribes. Um, tribes, such yes. other tribes. Other tribe, but, uh, olden days we don't know exactly which tribe, which before, tribe but because know? of the land maybe, uh -huh. or because of the forefathers, those mm. are prophets, they yes. depict something and yes. they go for it. Okay, they have lots of culture, this, uh, our headman, uncle can share more better. More better, yeah. It takes number of thousands. Then that's the one about the I I don't like the double number from Gita. So let's have the dog thing up the boss. Actually, see, you see the hat on the hands. What is this? Hat of a man. Hat. Hat. So like, this is hat of enemies. Enemies? Achha. He is a hat hunter. Uh. He has killed his enemy. Uh -huh. Symbolizes that he is under him. Enemies are under him. Under him? Yeah. Okay, okay. And olden days, why they fight is because of the land dispute. Yeah. As well as uh, they want to show off. That I'm a great patriotic or I'm a great hero. Hero. So like a, a, a man who is a good hunter, they consider him as a someone who is a hero. Hero. Okay. okay. So they always go for a war mm -hmm. for which if they bring the head means 
they will consider him as some as a supreme capable person who is here acha higher higher that's the leader yes yes so leader. sort of okay. like that okay. commander in chief or whatever that's okay so here uh, this is the decoration which you will do now also this type of decoration we all have we yeah. when we go for dance whatever we make use of this crown something like a yeah feathers and other yes. things you will be having yeah. we all have this type of uh, all this, this one yeah okay this is what is this one this you can represent this whole head this is a this book, uh, head of a buffalo. buffalo yes why you consider buffalo also one of your sacred animal or uh, why you have this symbol actually uh, hunt things we hunt all types of animals okay, okay. but the buffalo's heads we usually make it for decorations why so don't go see when we have a good buffalo with a properly horn up okay uh-huh. we make a decoration that we have a say like technique of the mom mother and also we saw as a prosperity see, yeah. luxury in, among the todas of nilgiris they also do the same type of buffalo horns yes. they worship buffalo in the temple they have the temple also that they will be decorating with the buffaloes ah, okay. in nilgiris the toda tribe a primitive tribe that is also okay. they have only 1700 individuals actually this buffalo horn we make it as a blowing blowing horn. yeah yeah you yeah. have that one you can blow now it is shown now we are supposed to blow we are we are sure only religious days yeah function days during we cultivation blow. okay we have a certain uh, month that we can only make use of that so oh, if we make use of other time the village authority is like a chief king chief yes uh, not allowed okay that is religious religious ceremonies only you will be doing that is yes we can uh, uh, inside we have uh, you close amma kun no test fireplace for sitting to give the deliberate council yes, to sit yes. and uh, discussions to make them we have uh, fireplace and the tables which you can see here indigenously prepared uh, tables this, this is mainly for the boys this is only for boys yes. that we call and as a, a dormitory this dormitory. is a dormitory boys as well as a house where we educate oh like we discuss things uh-huh. if one go for a war uh uh-huh. we discuss from here if you want to celebrate any functions like traditional festivals uh-huh. people have to discuss here the with, here, with the, the boy and youth 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 will stay all men will stay oh all the boys all the boys it is welcome for all Achha, in your language what you call for that rahanki rahanki yes. this is the rahanki youth dormitory where the boys used to stay here and discuss uh, sing songs and the dances yes, yes. everything they will be making here merry this is making they all merry making here. oh nice and uh, this is the bed that uh. all the boys usually sleep oh this is the bed uh, yeah. where the boys used to sleep both the sides both sides like both sides Huh? No girls can come here. No girls are not allowed. No. Oh. And they can't touch even the bed of the boys. Acha? In the same way, you have uh, another uh, for uh, girls also. Girls, they have. But they now have. this is an institution for learning. Acha? How? How? What are the things they will be learning here? Like folk songs. Folk songs. Folk tales. Folk tales. And about the traditions, like uh, what we call the. Uh, we discuss something like we, i ask questions to you you answer me answer me acha uh, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. usually olden days they don't uh, talk verbally verbally they sing and exchange yeah. the views like songs to the way of songs mm-hmm. not by way of uh, no, discussion no. actually purification rituals we have is uh, so like uh, when a son grows up to 2 years 3 years uh-huh. we go to the jungle mm-hmm. like say like these birds okay these birds yeah These we, are the birds you know and no guns no catapults nothing uh. we'll go and catch by hand the by whole, hand yeah oh, oh the youth uh, what is the name of the bird less actually this birds we whatever type of birds birds whatever it mm-hmm. get from the jungle huh? yeah you will catch with hands with the hands is it possible possible ah uh. we, oh. we nice. will keep on chasing until the, unless the bird got tired and uh, tired and fell yeah. oh hmm then and the first one who gets the hat okay uh. the first one who catches the bird will take the hat the rest of the pot will be rushed yeah. rushed mm. separated all everyone can come and rush oh because we go and touch it as something like before we purify things oh and how we do thing is that we tied with a type of grass uh uh-huh. hands and legs everything uh uh-huh. and the uh, all the nails okay, okay. then the, we say that i'm not purified we purified. Throw, we throw the thing in the jungle we come home purified 
So every yearly once you will do this ceremony? Yeah, every year. Every year. Which every month it will be? December. First week of December. December. First of December. First week, first week of December. First week of December. Week of December. Mm-hmm. For women also we have some the same type of purification. I read somewhere. For women? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. It's in the month of April. Pardon? In the month of April. April. Mm. What do you call for this? Uh, uh, Mankang. 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 On, on that particular day, mm-hmm. and all the ladies, they will go to the uh, pond. Pond. And, and they will purify their own bath, and then cut, come, and uh-huh. they have their lunch. Uh-huh. And then even they go to the, uh, maybe like a public ground, no? Okay. There's a special there, a special mm-hmm. place there. Mm-hmm. And then in the evening, they, they'll sing, mm-hmm. they'll go, and they'll dance. Okay. Then, in the meantime, while dancing, the women folks, they will... Have a like singing competition, no? Okay. Uh, they go through the whole night, something like that. Oh. They know they return back, and the boys they'll follow. Uh, maybe say, making a sound like blue, something, no? Mm-hmm. They all come back. See, we we just looking. It is longer than the other spears. Yeah, it is longer than. These are the two longer than the others. Yeah. Which this, is this spear is longer than the oh, other spear. Oh, mm-hmm. Why it is long? Because this is a king spear. King spear. Yeah. These other spears you can also use. I make him the puvi mother. I make him the. Uh, the other spear. Yeah. Anybody can use, but this this you can use only the king. Yeah. That is. Uh, this is for dance purpose. Yeah. yeah. Which one? This one. This one. Yeah. This is a uh, looks a bit different spear. What about this spear? I don't know the name. So uniquely. There's a, what you call, friendly sharing of meals with our tribes. Okay. So it's gift given to him. Oh. To other tribes. Achcha, achcha, achcha. When other tribes, when they will be interacting, <coughs> then they will be sharing their uh, happiness. This will be given as a gift to them. If anybody we, comes. Yeah, we share common meals. Common meals. Yeah, they will come uh-huh. here. Next time also we'll go back to their village and have a different sharing oh. of meals. So what are the tribes generally will be sharing? Can you tell the name of the tribes? According to my knowledge, with Mao, Pao, Mai, Jai, Mai, that means the neighboring tribes, tribes. that we have. Yeah. Yeah. We have. Previously, when they go for hunting, uh, before the metal invention, we, we doesn't have any shields, iron or steel. This is the shield they used to have for hunting. For wars. This is the, yeah, for wars. Yeah. For wars. Okay. With the, made with the bamboo. This is the shield. And this is the spear. one spear, spear going for uh, war. This is the way they used to do the war uh, with a spear and a shield. This is the what? This is the unique characteristics among these Urom Naga tribe. We may even with the buffalo skins. Buffalo skins. Cow, yeah, yeah, buffalo skin. oh. cow skins. No. Cow skins. Achcha. So uh, this is shield. very hot. Yeah. Uh-huh. But this is made with bamboo. Bamboo. This bamboo. is the uh, place uh-huh. for wrestling. What kind of wrestling you used to do? Here we have three colonies like that. Uh-huh. One is Mataksagai, Klapa uh-huh. and Maka. Maka. Uh-huh. Here we can't mix with one another. Uh-huh. We have to sit with the location that is being allotted here. Allotted, yeah. uh-huh. Once we try to mingle with someone else, there is a big misunderstanding Mis- and uh, wrestling challenges comes. Oh. We can't challenge anyone. At the same time, we can't uh, go and mingle with anybody. Anybody. So in the wrestling, you will be having a bet also, or uh, not exactly, uh, but we show entertainment. Like entertainment. It is entertainment. Entertainment. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. And the uh, girls cannot come here. Uh-huh. If they want to watch, they have to watch outside. 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 Yeah. Wrestling by naked or uh, along with uh, dress? Actually, the last have to be with the naked and have Both to be true. Yeah. Acha. The wrestling. Wrestling. Both men. Both men. Last, finally, who is going to come win? The king, uh, uh, what do you call the king clunk, or the select from this area, they need to have a naked wrestling, Achha. and the neck have to be draw. Achha. Not two twice, they need to fall it, no. Oh. But they have to make a draw, mm. and after which, they will just have a round of running here, and go for a long jump. Long jump, yeah. finally. <laughs> So this is the oh, one of the traditional we, practice, still they are practicing, practicing. here. We, yeah, we are still practicing. Then, we, we, which month it will be done? It will, which December. Month? December. Usually December. December. Oh. Okay. And we have a war dance. Uh-huh. So like, when we have a victory with war, uh-huh. we just 
German devil. Uh, just go around uh, here. Now, uh, two decent groups which he called as Magai and Kagma. Magai Mai. Magai Bung Nama. Magai Kagma. What is this? What is this? Magai Bung Nama, I mean the uppermost. You see, uh, here this is our village and the uppermost we call it, we call them as, no, no not this. this. Up there, Achha. over there. Achha. Over the, there. The topmost. Magai Bung Nama. He's one of them. He's one of the members. Yeah. Members? Yeah. Uh, means, uh, the village is divided into three kills. One is Metak's guy. Hmm. The center one is uh, the Miss Kulakpa. Kulakpa. Yeah. And the Maka up there. Yeah. Three, three three categories we have divided. Yes. Then Metak's guy means we have Mugai something Bungama. like two uh, colony like, no? Uh-huh. Bungnama and Ngamai. Those two. That we call Magai Bungnama. Acha. These are uh, exogamous groups. They will marry each other. Within they will marry. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. I mean, once it was uh, prohibited. Yeah. Uh, we uh, uh, gamna. We call it as gamna. Ah. No, we we, we, we are not supposed to marry them. No okay. But then uh, it was blessed by our king. Not yeah. With, uh, king has no, 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 no. Our chief. Uh, I know, uh, no, not him, but then his mom has blessed. He blessed. Him. Yeah. After that, no problem. We can marry one. We can marry. Uh, clan names. Yeah, we have. Uh, we have how we many clans? We have twenty. There's no kind of clans. Twenty-eight clans. Twenty-eight clans. Yeah, yeah, only in Maramkulen alone here in this village. In this village, twenty-one. Yeah. Can you name them? Is it possible to tell the names? No problem. We can name uh, some. Some you can yeah, yeah, name. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The clan names. They have the very strong uh, clan yeah, names. Yeah. They are the exogamous uh, groups. King's clan. King's clan is called. Gungkima. Gungkima. Gungs. Gung. Gungsima. S A G O N G. He express here. The king's clan is called. Gung. S A G O N G. Gung. Yeah. Gung Kima. Kima means uh, the people. The king's people. King's people. Yeah. Yeah. Next one. Sasa. Kima means in the sense that they are the people. Kima means people. What means? Kulungma means the people who live. We call it Next one. Hauma. 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 Hauma, yeah. Once upon a time, they were the most famous. Plants among the Maram. Maram, yeah. Next one. Last Ranama. Last Ranama. They are also one of the king over there, uh, top there. Top there. Yeah, yeah. Katainama. Uh -huh. Katainama. The concept of family has been found to exist since time immemorial and at all levels of the culture. Among the Maram Naga tribe, father is the head of the Family. Descent is patrilineal or agnatic descent. Inheritance of property is through father line. The rule of residence is patrilocal. Traditionally, joint families were common. All sons share the father's property equally. That is, male equigeniture exists among the Maram Naga. Monogamy is a rule, but polygamy is also observed occasionally. So, one can notice polygamous families along with the monogamous families among the Maram Naga. The father or eldest male member enjoys the authority. Full authority rests in the hands of male. Women have no decision-making power, but she is consulted by men while taking certain important decisions. At that time, yeah. generally they will be conducting the deliveries in the house itself present day also. And uh, they are capable of delivering by themselves. That is the usual practice, what according to uh, the information providing by him. No polygamy. No polygamy. No polyandry. Yeah, I, I mean, uh, see, uh, if my wife is not happy, they can go, no problem. The diversion can go. Yeah, diverse, uh, with diverse, diverse, you know, we don't have any, uh, I mean, we don't have to be in three in a quarter, we don't go, I mean, those things we don't have. Uh -huh. but then if, uh, if she don't like, she can give diverse and go. No, no problem, no problem. No problem. No problem. And you can also uh, diverse and you can go for another marriage. Yeah, it's, it's like... So it is a more liberal. That is, you know, divorce and remarriage is allowed. Yeah, yeah. Suppose, um, but uh, uh, if my wife is with me and if I marry another one, that's not allowed. That, that is what? Uh, that is what polygamy. That is not allowed. That, that's not allowed. At one time, we can have one one husband uh, yeah. or one uh, wife. Only. Yeah, it's like that. That is the usual practice among these people. 
so marriage you will pay some bread price so girl you will be going karcha it is called as karcha i mean when you wanted to marry your wife mm. you might have given some token of amount money or some gifts to her buffalo cow or something or some token money uh, karcha is called yeah, as karcha yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Well, uh, my uh, my, my, my yeah. we do that. I mean, uh, no, no, we we don't have a price. Whatever I want to give. Yeah. If, for example, if I want to marry a girl, whatever I can offer, I give her. Generally, what is your culture custom? We give in shawl. Our so. cultural shawl. Shawl means shawl, shawl, shawl. Shawl. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. this is your cultural yeah, yeah. shawl. No, 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 no. That's yeah. Th- uh, this also, this also one of it. Once upon a time. So you give a shawl then. Not not one shawl. We may give ten or nine, eight, or whatever. According to your uh, yeah. uh, uh, your richness, you will be giving. Yeah, yeah, it's like uh, that. Like that, they will be giving. Uh, Apart from that, uh, we will be giving some uh, liquor and uh, some cow or calf, pig like that. If I want, I will do that. But General, I, what is the custom? Custom is uh, whatever I can afford, I'll give. Uh, yeah. If not, if I'm not able, uh, I won't do that. Only shawls. Shall we compulsory? Yeah. Shall we compulsory? Compulsory. That's the bread price. Shall we? No, no, no. Yes, a little bit. If I want to give one rupee, no problem. No, five is what I am asking. Yeah, yeah. So one <laughs> rupee also can be given as yeah, a, yeah. a bread price. That is the regular practice among these people. The marriage where it takes place, bride's house or bridegroom's house? Uh, in I mean now we are practicing according to the oh, Christian oh, 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 religion. Oh, 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 oh. We are practicing, but in olden days, what we do is. Uh, at night we usually uh, the wedding takes place at night right mm. uh, yeah the uh, the brides brothers brothers they'll bring their sisters to the bridegroom's house acha it's like that at night and then what will be done there uh, they'll sing a song they'll make the brides cry mm. i mean they'll make, they'll make them sad like that is correct big thing ja They, and uh, what they say, uh, what they give, what the brothers give is, they give, uh, I mean, iron, iron as a precious, I uh, mean, a precious metal. metal. Yeah, mm-hmm. once upon a time in. Uh, so to the newly going bride, bride. Yeah, bride. Right. Yeah. Achha, achha. The brothers will give the iron to them. Iron, iron rod or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Na, na kung shopay lang ba? Wala pa yung biyahe nito. Yung 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 Okay, mm-hmm. so uh, uh, it's a kind of basing the brothers will drop the with that iron to the bride's uh-huh. uh, bride's legs and uh, feet and it's like that. So marriage ends with uh, by giving hand to hand or uh, how it is? No, we just bring them to the house. They'll have a party. They'll sing song. They'll give the blessing and they'll go back. Then and the next day uh, we have a rice beer. We prepare. <coughs> and, prepare rice yeah. beer. And the sisters will bring to the. Bright Brooms House, uh, and they'll have a nice party. Yo, 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 party. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> It's a non-vegetarian party on that day, second day, or vegetarian? Ah, no, 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 no problem. Vegetarian or non-vegetarian, it's okay. Whatever they like. It's like. Death is an important function, which among yourself, which I heard. Can you tell me about death uh, ritual? Yeah. When a person that there, there is a, there used to be an old man in a village to herald. For example, uh, today we are not allowed to go to field. A person has to herald the whole villages, and uh, that, that that particular fellow has to give the uh, I mean to conduct the ceremony during the burial. I mean, okay. Mm. What do you call that for uh, that person in your language? A thawui to. That is the uh, person who will be conducting the. Ah, atingba, atingba, atingba. Yeah, atingba. The 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 person who used to herald the information to all the villages. He's called Atimba. Atimba. Mm. Okay. So, um, during the when a person is dead, what what we have to do is we have to kill a buffalo or a cow. Cow. Oh. Mm. If he, if the person who died is uh, if he's prosperous, if he's rich, rich, mm, yeah. he has to kill kill two three buffaloes. Macha, macha. So. Um, Those who ever come for the funeral, those who come to mourn the dead, the dead person, they'll be they'll be distributed the meat. meat. And also, those who come, they'll have to bring a, a mount of paddy. Mount of paddy means paddy, paddy. I mean, they'll bring a paddy, uh-huh. but rice, rice, mm-hmm. and chacha. Yeah, paddy. Uh-huh. They'll bring the paddy. Uh-huh. Then, uh, with that, the, the, uh, those paddy will be collected somewhere else. Uh-huh. Then, in that particular containers, uh-huh. meat will be given. Meat will be given. Yeah.
uh, here is an important uh, ceremony is the death ceremony here like todas among todas of nilgiris also they will give sacrifice the buffaloes yeah, according to they are rich they will go for two three buffaloes even seven buffaloes also maybe mm-hmm. there and the same thing which i am finding among the maram nagas also they are sacrificing the buffaloes based on their richness they can sacrifice one or two or more than that also they can sacrifice here the sacrifice the buffalo meat will be given to all the distributed for all the people those who are coming with the rice the after the the rice bowls will be in the rice bowls after empty they will fill with the meat of the buffalo and they will be sent that <coughs> is the practice so whether you will bury the dead or cremate the dead body we will bury we will bury in yeah. all all people male female children everyone okay we will bury, okay. we'll bury and uh, we have some rituals i kind of yeah what, is it? what day you will perform the rituals on that day what what we do is uh, we'll have a we'll give them a plate a cup as a lot of kalam adami kalam adami and also uh, you know uh, a bottle of wine wine and, yeah yes. well we don't have a bottle here not not bottle as such but then what do you call it in english like? mm. and also a spear for a man okay and uh, all the all the clothes so uh, if we have a gun if i'm rich enough i'll put my gun also gun also yeah oh. like uh, at what uh, after the death of what day you will be for seventh day or ninth day this function oh, we, we do it uh, we, when we dig a grave we keep it there there itself yeah in the grave itself there you will be all the his vessels everything you will put it there yeah yeah and we will bury yeah we will bury yeah so you will be performing a purificatory ceremony no for him yeah yeah we do what, what day you will be performing a purity tai tai like the dance and pomo the pomar no mana to 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 ஜிஞ்சர்ஜர் <laughs> we take salt uh, mm-hmm. ginger this thing and all we spices you won't touch no so no so much of, we take spices but only ginger only ginger yeah. yeah ginger and there's a salt salt mm. you take yeah ginger we consider it as a sacred oh um, vegetable for us yeah ginger is a sacred vegetable for these people yeah, yeah on that day what you will do with ginger instead of uh, any spices we will take ginger acha uh, 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 in place of chili or anything so for example if if you if are not able to have any non vegetarian food okay if you are not able to have a chicken or this meat or anything we'll take ginger with ginger we'll take our food on the day yeah on the three day. days for three days three days mm-hmm. continuously continuously all the villagers will be given feast no. or uh, no 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 uh, only, only, only the family members only family members so the pollution ends with uh, performing that ritual yeah with three days we have performed that ritual we consider this as a solace all the clan members of that same clan will join together not as such only the family members mm-hmm. only the family those are living a single roof okay here you have a different kind of lands here you have the common property land village land clan land yeah, yeah, like yeah, that yeah, yeah. can like you that. give a description about that one uh, which i wanted to know about uh, land property which you possess the land of us divided into five categories such as village homestead village common land individual land clan land and uh, marung land the village common land are forest land grazing land place of worship playground public entertainment place and other kinds of land reserved for public purposes all these lands are managed by the village authority with the consent of the villagers some clans have their own lands These lands are controlled by the elders of the clan. Each village consists of morong that is dormitory. There is a provision of separate morong for boys and girls. 
these morons possess some forest land the income from these lands are used for the construction or repairing of the moron forest zoom land wetland cultivation grazing ground and large grasslands or forest for hunting purposes or private land or individual family land these lands are inherited from generation to generation in the male line only from the wetlands they are growing paddy and different kind of uh, vegetables and uh, in zoom uh, cultivation in the forest lands they are growing millet turmeric ginger and different kind of uh, chilies it is quite clear from this the economic organization is uh, very much well organized all types of visible whatever is uh, available you will be in the well acha now you are having the uh, agriculture apart from zoom agriculture now you are doing yeah, yeah, we, we, okay. we have terrace field a uh, terrace field what yeah. are the what you will do in the terrace field only paddy Price. only paddy yeah yearly how many times you will go once grow? only once yeah. afterwards it will be Can one as like uh, this now now is the time for sowing the seeds i seeds. mean we will be having sowing the seeds and uh, plantation will be in the month of june june okay yeah cultivation will be in the month of uh, november december like december. that okay, okay that's it rice beer oh this is a uh, pounding for rice beer this white powder sir where where we pour oh. rice beer so this is also this one is uh, mainly uh, used for graining the paddy paddy and this is what we do is we first uh, put in the water once it is soft uh. we put here and grain it into powder oh so this is for our rice uh, rice powder rice beer. this for is uh, for rice powder making yes. uh, rice beer for powder making this is for the paddy yes paddy this one uh, removing this one you know yes. this will be used uh. so in the two <laughs> rice is the staple food you know yeah These are all bamboo made containers called as abor made by themselves for uh, keeping the food grains storage purposes you can observe here the beautiful made containers this is sir this is a type of wine uh -huh. that we first cooked rice yes yeah. we first cooked the rice and after which we put it the yeast uh -huh. the powder that uh, yeast we powder it uh -huh. and we put it once we put in the pot it will just get fermented by itself here okay so when it is matured mm -hmm. what we do is we pour water here get water no? we add water here and it will get matured for okay. ready for drinking so if it is ready for drinking we can have it or if one it immediately what we do is we boil it uh -huh. we, we can boil it mm -hmm. and we can just have it directly if one immediate needs what do you call for this rossu dabutama what do you call for this drink drink rossu 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 is a popular drink among you as well women are experts in making the shawls which you can observe here they make beautiful shawls which they will be selling in the market and also they will be using for their own purposes here are some of the shawls which has been prepared by themselves which are very expensive generally they won't sell it but they will be using for their own purposes all the way i came here to meet him thank you sir for uh, giving us the opportunity to come and see you thank you very much he is the chief and the king of this community who not only uh, takes care of this community but also disposes the different type of cases and solves the different type of problems for the moroms still they are uh, maintaining the traditional way of political administration as though we have the democratic of voting democratic of panchayat system but there is a different type of system this is a this, this is a different type of uh, uh, traditional culture still they are maintaining thank you sir for uh, giving the opportunity 
thank you very much for uh, <coughs> we have a lot of uh, <coughs> festivals 21 festivals they will be celebrating on different occasions which it, it, it is uh, uh, quite interesting uh, to know each and every festival nearly 20 festivals they celebrate among them pongi rakak and kangi are the three important uh, festivals they will be celebrating as they are agriculturists they observe their festivals in relation with the different stages of agricultural activity according to the lunar months these are time to express joy and happiness after economic toils in most of the festivals people take the opportunity of expression of their artistic talents physical strength through martial arts dance and songs youth dormitory is the center from where they learn of art dance music and other activities boys and girls take a major part in the whole activity of festivals the maram is rich in dance folk songs and traditional music they perform dance and music and song at birth ceremony naming ceremony at initiation at marriages death and socio economic and religious occasions these functions are incomplete without dance and song thus dance music songs and rituals are performed for the benefit of all the maram naga people songs okay marams were very popular before and they were living a happy life yes so they said that uh, we don't want to go any other place if you come to maram we live a, a very happy life and if we sleep we sleep peacefully so okay. this is a song that uh, uh, we don't want other we don't want to go to other place yes. we like to stay here because this is the best place that we prosper yes. and uh, we live in uh, what happy do you know language jump stone yeah this is called as jump asai, stone uh, asai asai yeah asai mm. tell me what is the usage of this one actually it isn't it? these lines are the lines where it indicate means so of the <coughs> jump oh. of the place so that means in the measurement of your toe will be from this place yeah suppose where your back we, we point like this no ah. we will measure with our toes or with a heel no oh heel. so some very energetic person they have they manage to Jamatim, this place. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. So, this is the one kind of a game you will be yeah. playing. Yeah. Come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Go, go. Turn around, turn. Snyak. Nyak. Snyak. Snyak. Yeah. So, how you will be doing? So, we, we won't touch. Okay. Uh, so, we pick the drum. With our leg or thing, uh, hand. Okay. Then. I don't know if I'm possible or not, I don't know. Uh -huh. Because I never do, no? 
<laughs> so you have to I have to go on and then huh? here you just look huh? okay yeah I have to lick okay mm. yo and then I have the to... ground you have to lick yeah oh this is a kind of I have to game. come back again no after licking uh, but I have to come back again yeah we have, we have particular point no oh but if I give say like I have to come and lick okay this different yeah. points same points so we have different same points same point, at yeah. different distances yeah so that also determines the hollowness of the individual mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so this is the very important one which you can observe the jumping and uh, licking and also the long jump and short put mm-hmm. these are the age old games it is not the new games which has uh, traditionally from uh, ages it is coming we have given new terminologies that's all but it is existing from age old high jumping long jumping this is a kind of high jump which you have seen here is a high jump mm. that is a long jump which is existing uh, mm. in the society from ja- from ages mm. is quite interesting thank you for giving me this uh, the maram naga have the legend of uh, dispersal from the kiji konoma stone practice stone pulling ceremony burying their dead and cover the paddy fields after dispersal with earth by using hoe actually this stone there is not dead body we call it a live stone live stone uh, cream to cream to yeah. this is different this is different okay if i have a grandfather or grandmother uh-huh. i know that he or she will surely die Oi. before they die we usually pull the stone and bring it at home come home okay yeah. okay so, uh so like once the date means we put it but before that also we can just pull it and bring it and get kept ready. it stock yes okay this is like that one of yes, the stone uh, one of it so this that, that those stones those stones are gravets gravets there there is a dead body inside it yes so you call me that is a living uh, stone living stone in the side before someone died we have already brought the stone okay that is a living stone yes so those stones which have already kept that is that is the stones which already buried dead bodies we call it arau arau uh, that means a graveyard just graveyard. we call it like that graveyard so but this is the living stone yes we call so it. the stone he has brought it from uh, uh, to feel or jungle to, to keep it on the dead person of the family members if anybody died that is why it is called as a living stone so it is a keeping stock of a stone yes. for future uh, cremation of an individual in the family right so it is nice that is a, it has been referred in many books about these uh, stones okay so that is why i am interested in these stones t- actually we have lots of rituals rela- uh-huh. regarding regarding these stones yes yes uh, if now this we become uh, like christianity and all this we don't make lots of rituals but uh, all the days it was not easy to go and pull the stones okay uh, they have then how you will be pulling big big stones that's what we need to say well to do family they make a drinks this especially the we call it azau no the drinks we have to provide to all the people okay we food. have the ladies will come on the halfway uh-huh. they keep on providing them food the wine wine okay along with the chutney and all the uh, ginger yeah, water yeah 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 so certain so like a if we have reached 1 km there'll be another group waiting for us again oh we'll go to another state there'll be another group waiting there again providing all the types of drinks and all this in order to uh, select in rice because without food we go okay pull it. okay so by pulling only you had to bring not on the truck car or anything yeah all the days it was like that I like that but now these we bring with supplements and all this okay okay by truck also are bring yes okay that is nice so this is the importance of this uh, uh, bringing the live stones and keeping it here so why you wanted to keep the stone why not the cementing and other things why why it is importance of this whether they, somebody will take away the dead body the culture that we have and no one can come and occupy the place where i am buried if i have put the stone oh so that is the nobody should occupy that space yes. for the living that is the dead man's space it should be like that that is why like i like live house for the like that is nice that is fair sir how to differentiate living stone and dead grave dead stone so how to differentiate the differentiation that i told you is that 
living stone, I mean the person is not dead, but yet we have brought a stone ahead. Okay, yes. Yeah. But How would differentiate? And that stone and the other that is graveyard see, stone. After a person's death, we pull it and bring it, that is different. Okay. But this is before a person's death, we have already brought the stone ahead. Right. If a person is already buried here, they have to put a frame like this. Okay. But, but there is no nothing, such yeah. that. Only the holes are there, yeah. only the stones are Just to put space the is there. Yeah. Only the space, space is there mm. in between. Mm. And also, suppose a grandpa or grandma, no? They have seen with their naked eyes and they have the ease of mind. Oh, they can see. Mm. Mm -hmm. They, they have already see. seen with their naked eyes, no? They can see the naked eyes of that stone they are going to place. Yeah, I mean, I mean after that, the that they know, they already knew that they have already brought the stone and they have the ease of mind, no? Oh, mm. they, have the, they, have, they have the peaceful mind that they yeah. already they have brought, the, my children has yeah. brought the stone. Yeah. And they are going to keep it on a dead body. Yeah. They have the emotional satisfaction, you mean to say? Yeah. Yes. Yeah? yeah emotional Psychologically. Yeah. They feel that, that happiness mm. that was expressed. That is the importance of this one mm. stone. See their stone by, by themselves yeah. before Some, the death. Yeah. Sometimes when they grow too old, when they see stone like this, they said, I'll, I'm very happy to die. Oh! I'm ready to die even. <laughs> even now, by seeing the stone? Yes, out yeah? of that emotional happiness. Happy, why emotional happiness. Yeah. That is the importance of these uh, stones. Thank you very much for this information. Uh, it will be stored and it will be given to the world uh, about this information. This, uh, people may think uh, why these people are keeping the stones, these are the mad people, they don't know anything like that. But it is a rich cultural heritage, yes. which doesn't have any society. Really it is a need, uh, that means in a preservation of your ancestors, that culture, it is com coming from generations which we will find only from the aborigines, tribals not in the human civilization. Actually now, even the Christianities, they trying to encourage this system of doing things, actually. No, they are not encouraging, but uh, is, uh, yeah, yeah, why they are not encouraging? This is really a culture, needed. No? Acculturation. This is our culture, where we may be modernized, yet we can't leave the place. Yes, we leave the place. Yes. So that is what, you know, um, continuity and change. Yes. See, we have to accept the new one also, but we should not forget the old uh, yes. civilization. Yes. This is our civilization, yes, which has been given by us, by our ancestors, yes, for millions of years, that we should not forget. You should continue. Of course, whatever may be the religion which you have told, whatever may be the religion, whatever mm -hmm. may be the belief system, but we should not forget about our uh, ancient culture and ancient civilization. Yes, sir. That is required. Uh, for whom and uh, then there is no difference between an animal and a man. Yes, sir. We uh, should uh, continue we'll this culture. Yeah. I hope that you people yeah. will uh, yeah. continue yeah. this yeah. culture yeah. heritage. Yeah. So, so yeah. among the people yeah. living uh, uh, people living cultures, you are one among them in the world. Thank you, sir. You are one among this culture, Muram Naga culture is uh, Maram, one of, Naga. Maram Naga is uh, one of the culture still. They have the traditional system, belief system, rituals, and uh, all the ancient cultures they are still following. I request that they should continue this culture further in future also. It is a cultural heritage of India. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. In spite of uh, impact of uh, modernization and uh, urbanization and expansion of the culture, that is in especially Mughal culture, Christianity, still you are maintaining your own traditionalism. How you, you are maintaining that I want to learn from you people? Actually, regarding the culture, this, we, whether we are following up different religions or whatever, we support and uh, we really uplift the culture. And uh, so like, uh, we don't discourage ourselves. At the same time, even the elders, they try to encourage us, us to have a proper cultural life. So we are always there to support them and we also we really act on it. So you mean to say that um, personal uh, way of religion, personal way of thinking is different, 
when you come to the society as a whole you work together and you integrated to the society yes of your own traditional culture yeah. yes sir. there is what which they are uh, doing you know whatever may be the religion whatever may be the culture they have but they are abiding to the culture of maram the traditional culture they are joining together even the elders are encouraging for them to keep intact of the traditional culture that is why the traditional maram culture still exist here still surviving in spite of urbanization modernization and expansion of a different uh, religions impact of re- different religions still they are not able to change their way of life that is the important i think you have seen uh, uh, the traditional uh, king still we have uh, the king with us here existing and still he is the supreme authority of the maram marams who decides the uh, who solves the problems and issues about uh, the panchayats whatever may be the cases it may be and he maintains the here we can see the king's palace king's palace till he it is uh, intact and the uh, the traditional culture you can observe here the way uh, the architect and the buildings which they are keeping and the dormitories for the male boys inside the right side that is one of the important characteristics of the maram culture as though i have uh, seen uh, many tribes in india is only among the three tribes among the prime tribes is one is the dongriya kont in orissa the second one is uh, maram nagas and another one is uh, poudi buya of orissa these are the three tribes in india still we are having the traditional dormitory system so this is the dying culture this is the dying culture we want to preserve this cultural heritage of india that is why we request you to give us the inputs whatever the culture we are having so that we can able to preserve this cultural heritage and we can not only showing to the also it will be preserved for your next generation which i have observed is there is no integrated child development icds is not functioning here nutritional food uh, and also anganwadi worker is not here but if she gives the food regularly or not regularly but uh, certain occasions they certain occasions only yeah. but with the uh, like what the office is being structured is that man only and there is no special school for especially for the primitive tribes in this region so there is a need to establish a primitive tribes a separate school because we have more than 40 villages in this region for the in this the this area is region and we have the population more than 10000 more than 10000 more than 10000 so there is a need for a school high school level they should be established in this uh, region exclusively for the maram naga tribe that is the requirement of the day uh, that is a see all children which you have observed here many of them are not able to go to the school because of uh, several problems that is long distance and also the poverty is too much they are not able to send their uh, children to the school so there is a need uh, to establish a residential school in this region the most important issues should be addressed or water should be the first one should be given to them protected water second one is the school school and electricity electricity as though we have the poles there is no electric supply here the basic requirements should be provided as the primitive tribe should be provided i find here there is no consideration for a primitive tribes any program exclusively for the primitive tribes as the government of india is providing many programs for the upliftment of the primitive tribes i find here there is no such type of any program is going on the immediate effect immediate imp- steps should be taken to provide them water electricity and education these are the basic required then the nutritional food most of the men and women and also the children are anemic in uh, 
you can see some of the children are very anemic, uh, living in uh, pathetic conditions, uh, both pregnant and lactating mothers. So there is a need uh, for them to provide uh, proper nutritional food. And the last one is economic organization. Economically, they are very weak. Previously, they used to have their own way of life, depending on food gathering and hunting, and uh, way of life is totally different. Because of the lot of migration from Nepal and different areas by Bangladesh, these territories which are occupied by these people were also occupied by the other people. So they lost their economic subsistence to great extent. So now they are depending on the with limited source of uh, income generation. So there is a need for them to provide uh, economic subsistence support for these people. That is also very important. Otherwise, these Pintu tribe, which living in the hills, hills, you can see here, in this lease, they may perish, they may extinct from the planet at any time. So I request the policy makers, decision makers, to look into these problems and issues and to help these people in a great way. That is the requirement of the day for appointment of this Muramnaga tribe. The Maram Naga are biologically, genetically, culturally a distinct population living on the earth. To save this population and this cultural heritage, we must save them from the mainstream of the society. They should be provided regular employment, medical provision, drinking water, educational facilities should be provided. Maram Naga are one of the ancient tribe and they live on rich cultural heritage. It is the duty of all of us to save the Aboriginal population before they extinct from the planet. It is customary in almost all the tribes of India that after becoming a friend, before leaving the place, they will be offering a drink or a cigar or a gift to the friend who have visited. Here, Maram Nagas are offering a rice beer to me before leaving the village. So I had to accept the rice beer. Then only I can leave this place. Otherwise, they won't allow. This is the rich cultural tradition. Now I accepting the beer from the Maram Naga people. This is the traditional beer. Thank you for uh, giving me this <laughs> and helping <laughs> me in this uh, ethnic vision. Uh, you will also coming. Another boy is uh, uh, from anthropology department. Uh, name? My name is Johnny. Johnny. Another boy? Ismail. Ismail who is uh, from Muram Naga tribe himself. We go on here and helped me in the filming is this document ethnic vision of Maram Nagas. I thank all of you for Welcome. helping me this in this document. Yeah, thank you. Sir. Thank you for the rice beer. Thank you. This is ritual uh, dress. Uh, ritual dress. Huh? <laughs> now you are becoming Maram. Maram, Maram tribe. Yeah. I became Maram. Yeah, yes. One of the Maram tribe. Maram. Yeah.